hate our voting system now. We never get a choice. We're always voting against the other guy where what you have with approval voting, I think it's just a brilliant and simple idea. So I was hoping you can talk about those differences. So in terms of how these different voting methods shake out, I think it's important to think about the like what makes a voting method good. So we had talked about these like kind of three factors, winner selection, accuracy of candidate support, and then this practicality component. The choose one method that we have now, this first past the post or plurality voting, does really only one thing, and that is that it, it's not complicated. You just pick one candidate. Of course, it gives you the opportunity to spell your ballot if you decide to choose more than one candidate. But where it really fails is on those other two elements. So it does a poor job in identifying candidate support. And then the other component is that it doesn't do winner selection well. So you have candidates that are similar that run. The vote can divide between them and someone else who is less supported can win as a result. So this is particularly common in crowded fields. So like when you have primaries or if you have a moderate candidate running with other candidates in a close election, you can have votes putting there as well. And so a lot of times we think, okay, well, what if you do a runoff? That'll probably solve things. Not so much. 